blackberry.com. Hey everybody, this is Simon Sage from Crackberry. Today we're going to be running through some of the big features in BlackBerry 10.2. These are going to become available to all the other BB10 devices out there, Z10Q, 10Q5, uh, shortly after the uh, Z30 launch uh, later on this month. Uh, so it's there, there's some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, we'll check out the lock screen right off the bat. Uh, we've got uh, notification previews here. So uh, this isn't just email. It includes other third-party apps. We've got uh, Google Talk. We've got Twitter. We've got email. Uh, you can't uh, go right into them from the lock screen. That'd be a really nice addition. But uh, swiping up here, uh, we are in our hub. And uh, we're actually, I think, right now in the priority hub, which is another one of the main features in uh, 10.2. So Priority Hub is basically a quick place where you can uh, get a look at some of the more important messages that are coming in. By default, there are a, a couple of things here that uh, automatically start filtering. We can check those out under the Hub Settings. We've got a new Priority Hub section here. And uh, you can turn it off altogether if you just find it's, it's clutter. Uh, but uh, by default, it will flag messages that from people that have the same last name as you, messages that you have started, uh, and uh, messages that are flagged with high importance by whoever sent it. Uh, you can also manually curate this list too. So uh, let's say there are messages here that uh, I don't necessarily want, like from myself here, you can long press and go to remove priority. And it will ask you why you don't want that, you don't want that to be a high priority, either the contact or the conversation. Similarly, uh, you can do that the other way around. So let's say there's a message coming in here that I want to mark as high priority. You can do that with the same reasoning. So uh, it's it takes a little bit of training, I find, but uh, on the whole, it is pretty handy. Another thing in the hub is the new attachments button down here at the bottom. Uh, attachments let you uh, view everything new that's uh, that's coming in terms of attachments. Uh, from what what I heard from the BlackBerry people, they weed out uh, the tiny little files that tend to be attached when uh, it's just part of someone's signature if they have a banner or something like that in there. So uh, that's handy. You've got a search option up top here to uh, you know look for something very specific. So you could switch over to list view too, and there are also sorting options here. So you can switch to change uh, sorting by sender, by name, by type, uh, and so forth. So uh, that's really handy for, for those that are uh, regularly handing off files to and from over email. So another thing in BlackBerry 10.2 is uh, instant previews and instant replies. So it needs to be made clear that these are two different things. So you can set instant previews on for a number of different things. Uh, you, you've got a lot of the native uh, applications here. Oh, there we go. So uh, BBM and SMS both have instant replies. So I can tap the reply button up at the top there and write back uh, really quickly without having to leave the app that I'm currently in. Uh, so that's fantastic. Uh, you, you can turn these on for uh, other, other applications here. You've got instant previews toggled on or off. I believe uh, Facebook also has, uh, there we go, we got Michelle sending me messages too. Uh, in Facebook, you've got the option to, to toggle instant previews on or off. So the previews can pop up no matter what. You can set those for email too. If there's a particular email account that you want to keep uh, keep an eye on, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, there we go. Uh, you can also set them to priority only, which is actually uh, fairly important for, for email. You don't want to necessarily get a little banner coming up along the top every single time you get a new email. So uh, there are uh, very, very nice options there for high visibility. And uh, for, from those instant previews, you, you can launch right into uh, BBM as well. So you've got the, the, the full smiley menu and what have you. So another really great addition in BlackBerry 10.2 is adaptive sharing. Uh, so let's say we've got uh, an article here that we'd like to share. Uh, you've got the share button right here, just as usual. However, you've got a, a new menu uh, up along the top here. So from here, you can see some of your most commonly shared to contacts or addresses, right? So I've got some people here that I usually send to. Uh, I don't share that often to LinkedIn. For some reason, that's bubbled up to the top. But uh, you've also got your different email accounts. Uh, you've uh, ba basically anything within the share menu here can bubble up to the top there, which is kind of cool. I think you can also get um, meeting participants as an option there. So. Uh, if you're regularly sending off messages to people that are in calendar events, uh, you can get stuff, stuff out to them really quickly too. Now, there are a few more uh, subtle changes in terms of the typing experience 
uh, on BlackBerry 10 here. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see here. Well, first off, we're in the new Evernote app here, which is great. Uh, it is standalone. Uh, you still have the integration with Remember, but uh, what I particularly like is uh, the way they handle copy and paste now. So uh, I can type in a few things here. And uh, let's say we want to copy. We've got these new pop-up uh, buttons here for copy paste. I, even even a share button, so you can share out a little snippet of text to anything within the uh, the, the share menu, which is pretty interesting. Uh, but copying and pasting is a lot easier now. It used to be tucked away in a side menu, but now you can cut. And when you just long press elsewhere, you've got the paste button. So uh, that is really really helpful. And of course the uh, uh, the, the cursor there is still the same. Uh, here we go. So you can uh, select text as you will. Uh, you know, bump down a little bit. Uh, you can also uh, use the new rich text editing that's built into uh, the Evernote application, which is very nice. Uh, I believe the Evernote application also includes tag support and also check boxes, which uh, weren't included in the Remember application. So lots of cool, handy new stuff there. So uh, another thing that's uh, brand new in BlackBerry 10.2 is, uh, is a little feature included in the calendar. So if you long press a meeting that's uh, 15 minutes away, uh, you've got an option here for I will be late. Uh, so th this can come in very handy for getting in touch with uh, whoever the participants are. And you can say I'll be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour, or I can't attend this meeting at all. Uh, and then it just blasts out a message to everybody who's going to that meeting. Uh, so small little tweaks like that are kind of found throughout BlackBerry 10.2. Just small refinements on, on a lot of really great stuff. Um, and we've also got other stuff like Miracast display mirroring, which uh, I, I haven't been able to get to work yet because I don't have a Miracast TV or a dongle that I can attach to the TV, but I'm, I'm working on that. And we've also got some cool stuff with USB hosts that I can't quite do here because my the, the dongle I have for it uh, gets in the way of HDMI out. But uh, it works uh, with a lot of stuff. I've used it with a USB stick so you can see files within the file manager and it also recognized my Microsoft mouse and keyboard really easily so uh, that combined with HDMI out I could have a full desktop experience with my BB10 device alone which is neat. I don't know if it's practical but uh, it's, uh, it's capable of doing so. Anyway this is Simon Sage from Crackberry and we've been looking at BlackBerry 10.2.